do, do. I have to do a quiet one so it doesn't get the dogs going freaky. Welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where multiple intelligences meet each day. Each day. Hello and welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where multiple intelligence meet each day, or uh, a meal of thoughts for food. So this is the Good Info Cafe is where we meet, so you get a meal of thoughts for food. I'm info artist J.K. I'm the teacher and the sinner, and get ready for some music, fun, hope, and big, serious, helpful concepts. In the pursuit of truth, get out your percussion instruments for JM Sunday. Still don't know how to hold this thing. I looked at one lesson online. I think this is the beat that I do each time since I'm just doing it spontaneous. So clap along, or beatbox along. So now you go off. I gotta talk. But there's, that's the pulse. You keep the pulse while I... So you gotta keep that mouth open for... Right, jam Sundays. Good job, those jamming along. Also, my guitar is tuned to A432. It just sounds so much better to me. So anyone trying to play along or in the future, keep in mind, I have some um, blueberries in my mouth. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna do the food thing. I gotta remind. I'm gonna remind myself. Uh, so for tomorrow's video, food because I want to get all the senses going. And uh, so, what was I saying? A blueberry? I can't even remember now. But anyway, oh yeah, 432. Uh, and you can go to an app store and ask for Hertz. Um, so, I don't think there's a... I couldn't find a tuner that tunes to A432, but I did find a Hertz frequency generator where you can give the number. So you put in 432 and there's your A for how I play and it sounds it's it's now that I'm living with it it just sounds so much better and I still think I have a sleepy droopy eye whatever over there today the subject is the shroud that is in Turin the sh known as the shroud of Turin those that believe in it it's the shroud of Christ shroud of Jesus shroud of Yeshua shroud of Joshua shroud of Yeshua Yesho. so that's what I'm going to talk about. Then there's miscellaneous, the shirt. Christian extremist equals extreme love. I was just telling a friend about this. Um, and, you know, Jesus follower. Jesus, you can be a Messianic Jew and believe the same thing, but I'll make adjustments and, and have other designs. Uh, Messianic Jew extremist equals extreme love. <laughs> So let's not get in fighting Messianic Jew and Christian is the mystery Babylon and the church and all that stuff. Your follower of Jesus, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua. Then, um, and then in the middle of the night, I figured out what a new level of what this is, this 
official launch is going to be and now it's looking like I've, I've got at least 80 90 percent ready for February 7th although I do need uh, uh, to make some money I do need another job but I can do 10 minutes in the car on a break or something like that so and I have three two possible job prospects um, so I'm going to talk about that what what the next level is and then the QOD question of the day is the shroud the burial cloth of Jesus and is the image on it authentic from when he transfigured or all the two billion cycles in a billionth of a second emitting there's holographic information on there there's 3d information it is unbelievable and i got to see it in person so i'll talk about that and then the gra the grade is going to be for the shroud that wrapped the body of jesus the shroud of turin so let's go to the subject well no i need to grab the, you know the grade is going to be high <laughs> and some of the people who did the carbon dating will i'll grade them too they'll get a bad grade because they carbon dated the a part of the cloth that um was sewn on there and there's so they say here's the date the 1400s 1300s middle ages and there's a picture of the shroud from like 900 a.d like 300 years before the carbon dating says it existed so they get they i'll just grade them right now the dum-dums who analyzed the cloth and said that it was uh, from the Middle Ages, they get their dum-dums. So they get they fail. They get a failing grade. The shroud grade is going to be all the way up there. And then the question of the day, you got that. Is the shroud the burial cloth of Jesus and the image authentic? So the shroud of Turin, it's in Torino, Torino, Turin, um, in 1990, I guess since the 1500s by the Savoy family maybe, um, in the same church. For a long time and so it's known as the shroud of turin meaning if you don't believe that it's a cloth the burial cloth of jesus it's still the shroud of turin that's where it's been hey okay uh throw a rhyme in the shroud of turin the sh i call the shroud of christ in turin in 1990 i went to the world cup as a volunteer for the world cup organizing committee of 1994 for the united states went in 1990 for two and a half weeks, I think it was, with some other volunteers and um, saw games, but also the chief of police, the chief of police for Turin, who um, his son stayed with us in Bethesda when I was growing, when I was, actually I was out of, I was in my 20s, and he was going to high school here. My mother did those exchanges where exchange students would stay here from Germany. So I stayed with their family. They invited me to stay there. So I guess I took a taxi down into town. It was up on, the chief of police's house was up on the hill. And it was um, Giovanni, Giovanni, Giuseppe, Giuseppe, a really good artist too. Um, and I asked to go to the church and there it was and no one was around and I just walked in the front and there was the shroud straight ahead. This is 1990, summer 1990. Um, and I had to scratch my eye then also and um and i got really close my my memory is that i walked up to a like a low um barrier or whatever um, and there it was and very long and i wish i knowing what i know now i would have looked at it try to estimate how tall he was and things like that but just powerful and just there and there weren't a lot of people it wasn't crowded it was lit up the, the church was really dark and that was a time when they had it out, probably because of the World Cup for the Taurus, and I certainly appreciate that. And because uh, then they put it away for a long time, and public couldn't see it. Um, and I got a little uh, necklace image, metal, but it it was not good quality, so I don't think I have it anymore. Anyway, um, so the shroud is purported to be. Um, it's in Turin and, and it has a history and it was in France I think and various places it was in a cool place uh, Island of Crete nah, anyway um, and it has incredible information info artist information 
information literacy, information literacy, information, the fundamental thing of reality, of life, of existence, of that which is seen and unseen. Information could be the most fundamental thing. Um, and it has information on it that still can't be replicated. So all these um, naysayers, they can't replicate it. The top scientists in the world who, are, um, who don't believe in it can't replicate that image. And if you look it up, if you don't know about the Shroud of Turin, the Shroud of Christ, I think, um, it wasn't until 1890s, the 1890s, where a, I think it was a French photographer took pictures of it and then was blown away in his dark room when he was uh, developing the film because it, it's a negative, like a double negative image. It's more sophisticated, but he then saw the face of Christ, the face of the person that's on the shroud for those who don't believe and Everyone's welcome here, who's not going to sabotage, who's not a, who's not smug. Uh, is a sucker of good energy, sucker is smarmy and snobs, they're not welcome. All those S's. But um, atheists are welcome, even though you don't exist. <laughs> Agnostics, I'm pretty sure they're, um, they're welcome. I have to think about that. Um, Non-believers, believers, Muslims, Israelis, Hebrews, Jewish people, um, Everybody's welcome here, because uh, music is a universal language, um, and that's what we have here. Fun is universal. Uh, big concepts are universal. Everybody's wondering about this world. Everyone does at some point in their lives, um, at, at least by the age of reason, and uh, that does happen at different times. Um, you can say special needs um, people, maybe it's later on. Um, but seven is around the age, the average age for the age of reason. All right, so did I get through everything? Oh, the Shroud of Turin grade is an A plus 100% because the amount of energy that came off the body to make that image, um, and there's pictures of it from 900, to, uh, you know, 1000 from the Middle Ages. Um, so it's been around for a long time, and I say uh, nothing, there's nothing saying it hasn't been around since Jesus and from his tomb and all there's no no evidence for that um, so 100% it's if you go to YouTube and, and get a good um, presentation anywhere from 12 minutes to hour two hours about it it's amazing good shepherd films is a good place to a good shepherd films is a YouTube channel and that's a good one um, but I like, um, for now, my theme song. Welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where multiple intelligences meet each day. Each Thanks for coming.